Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I am again doing something a little bit different for you. Uh, it's not something I've ever done before and I am doing a book haul. I am going to talk through the books that I bought on my Kindle in the month of July for you. The first book that I bought in the month of July on my Kindle is A Girl Like Lilac by Victoria L. James. This is a romance novel set in a small town where a young boy, Toby, or mid-teens really, decides to defend a girl called Lilac because I think she's seen as different and the people of the town pick on her. Toby is arrested for defending Lilac and one arrest turns to two, two arrests turns to three and so on until the town starts to turn against him. But he doesn't see why he shouldn't uh, defend Lilac. He's been in love with her for what he feels is forever and he's determined to grow up to be a man who will stand up for her. I picked this book up because Victoria L James is an author attending a book signing I'm going to next year and quite a lot of the authors that are going to this book signing I haven't actually read any of their work before and I wanted to do that before I go. So this is part of my determined to actually pick up her, those authors books and get to know those authors a little bit better before I arrive. So the next two books that I bought in the month of July were the two in death reads that I had intended to read and didn't actually get to but they were Holiday in Death and Midnight in Death. Uh, again if you've seen my TBRs and wrap ups then you'll know that these books are set around a New York police detective Eve Dallas and her husband Rourke and the murders serial killers that Eve has to solve and catch. Uh, these are no different to the previous books. Obviously there's a serial killer on the loose and Eve has to solve the mystery. I've read them all. I have read them now. Uh, I didn't read them in July but I have read them during August and I thoroughly enjoyed them like I do with every single book that I read and I'm looking forward to buying and reading more. So the next few books I bought because I was going through and tidying up my wish list on Amazon and uh, reorganising it so that I could separate out romance from fantasy, yeah, and 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 just keep and Kindle Unlimited, uh, and just keep them separate from each other so that I can more easily find things in my wish list when I want to. Uh, but as I was going through, I found some books that would actually been reduced to zero pennies and decided to invest in them. They were on my wish list for a reason so I thought I would give them a go. The first of those books is Frey by Melissa Wright. This is a fantasy novel, there are elves, there is magic, there is a young girl on the run being helped by a mysterious stranger. Uh, it sounds right up my alley and I'm really looking forward to reading this at some point. So the next book that I bought is The Dragon Slayer's Sword by Risa Nelson. Uh, this is a sword and sorcery fantasy novel. It has dragons. It follows Astrid, who's a blacksmith, and she has a secret to hide. And in this book, it becomes time for her secret to be revealed. Don't know anything else other than that. I think it's a four book series. It's the first book in a four book series. Uh, and again, it sounds right up my alley. It's fantasy. It's got dragons. It's got magic. Um, so I'm really looking forward to picking this up and reading it at some point and trying to make a dent in my TBR instead of trying to make the pile bigger. So the next book that I bought is an historical romance novel and it's Her Husband's Harlot by Grace Calloway. <clears throat> this book is different from most other books that you read historical romance fiction. Um, instead of in the lead up to a romance um, the couple are already married, they are newly married and uh, they have a disastrous wedding night which the new wife, um, Lady Helena, wants to resolve but her husband decides to start visiting inns of, inns of disrepute, shall we say. Uh, so she decides to follow him there and she establishes an elaborate ruse to try and win his love and affection. Her husband, on the other hand, uh, Nicholas, he has some demons to hide and he is actually trying to protect her from those. And one of those demons from his past 
arises and threatens their future. So it's a story of danger and intrigue and also a story of romance and uh, learning to love. So looking forward to reading this. Uh, I think I shall probably try and fit this into a Romanceopoly um, challenge at some point in the near future. Um, so look out for this on a TBR very, very soon. So the next book that I bought is Darkness Forged by Matt Larkin. This is a Viking and Norse mythology centred fantasy book and it's uh, again it's got intrigue and mystery and um, it's set in like I say Norse mythology around Norse mythology. It follows a gifted blacksmith who has a quest to complete and again it's another one that sounds right up my street. There's not again I think it's a self-published one so there's not a lot of uh, about it in the script book description so I can't really say much more about it than that but it caught my attention the cover is stunning um really love it and I'm looking forward to picking it up soon so the next book I bought is an anthology and that's called Guns Blazing uh, this is by a series of authors who write dark romances I specifically picked this up because it includes a book by Claire C. Riley, who is another attending author at the book signing I'm going to next year. I have actually read the short story that she's written and I did enjoy it and I am looking forward to reading more by her. Uh, like I say, they are dark mafia romances, most of these uh, short stories. Um, I don't read a ton of dark romances. It's not really something I gravitate towards, but when I do read them, when I have read them in the past, I've enjoyed them. Um, so I'm hoping to pick up the rest of the anthology. Like I say, it's short stories, so you can just pick them up in between longer fantasy reads, which maybe I need to start doing a bit more of. The next book that I bought um, in the month of July is because it is a book by an author that I auto buy everything she writes. This is The Dragon's Bidder by Jessie Donovan and it's the third book in her Tahoe Mates series. It's set in her overarching dragon series that she's been writing. So there's the Stonefire and um, the Snow Ridge uh, and the Scottish clan whose name escapes me now. Uh, but the Tahoe Mates is based around Lake Tahoe in America and the Pine Rock clan of dragons. I haven't read any of the books in this series. This is the third book. Uh, it's a spin-off series. I'm guessing somehow she's going to link it in some way to the uh, UK-based novels. Um, so I don't really know very much about it. I haven't really read very much on the blurb because I don't want to give anything away from previous books. It doesn't tend to. You can read them um, without having read the previous books in the series. But it will give away other couples if you want to go back and reread them and read the earlier books. Uh, so I don't always recommend um, reading them out of order. Uh, but they are ones that you could if you wanted to. Uh, I think I need to splurge and catch up with Jesse Donovan. Um, I, I get behind and then I spend a few weeks catching up and, and just binge reading and I need to stop doing that and I need to start reading them as she releases them um, in future. Uh, but she is an auto -bi author. If you like uh, dragon romances, then give Jessie a go. Um, they, they are really, really good. The earlier series that she wrote in the earliest books in Stonefire, you may find them in part work, but she did release them as whole books as well. So keep looking um, and then you'll find them. And the last two books I bought on my Kindle in July are actually uh, the book club picks. One is for July, one is for August. Now, initially for July, we were supposed to be reading The Secrets of Strangers by Charity Norman. Unfortunately, quite a few members of the book club were struggling to find a copy, um, either at a reasonable price or from the library um, in time to be able to read it for uh, July. So she... The lady who runs the book club, Jess, decided to change her mind and move this to August Book Club pick. It, it's based around a group of strangers who are thrown together when they are in the same coffee shop and a gunman takes them all hostage. They 
all have a secret and this secret could stop them from surviving the siege and the hostage situation. Doesn't really say any more than that on the back of the book, uh, but yes, um, it does sound quite interesting. I like books that where the characters have secrets and there are lies that could um, ruin their futures um, and how they get around those and, and how they affect their lives. So I'm really looking forward to picking those up, picking this one up in August for the book club. And the actual then book club pick, the one that uh, Jess changed it to for the month of July, is Bear Town by Frederick Buckman. This is set in a small Swedish town surrounded by forest. It's a hockey obsessed town and they are in the run up to a big game. Um, something brutal happens in the town uh, but something has also happened to the town to be offered them a bright new future it's it's quite um the town is diminishing in size every year the forest that surrounds them is taking over uh, because people are leaving the town and they see hockey as their way out of it don't really know much more than that uh, other than the brutal act divides the town because if they face up to what's happened it could ruin their bright new future and if they hide it uh, justice won't be done so it tears the town in two so I have started it um, I'm only a few pages in I'm only about 20 pages in and we're, it looks as though we're going to follow quite a few different people's perspectives in this and so I'm actually quite looking forward to it Frederick Buckman gets a lot of love on booktube um, so I've not really heard anything bad about this story so I'm looking forward to giving it a go in, and I will let you know in my August wrap up how we or no yeah in my August wrap up um, I've got that completely the wrong way round I bought these in July Bear Town is for the August book club pick and The Secrets of Strangers is now going to be September's book club pick uh, so yes, yeah, so I'll let you know what I thought of Bear Town in my August wrap up. Um, we're only about a week off the end of August now, anyway, so that will be going up fairly soon. Um, so that's it. That's all the Kindle books that I bought in the month of July. I have done a separate video for all the physical books that I've set myself in July, so I will link that um, in the cards. I hope um, if you've read any of the books, obviously let me know in the comments down below. Um, tell me what you thought of them obviously no spoilers please I don't want spoilers I don't like spoilers um, but I will see you all again in another video speak to you all soon if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will speak to you all again soon bye